I was in America for the Oncology Advisory Drugs Committee of the American Regulator. And they were looking at introducing a second biosimilar for use in oncology. And this is a paratin alpha biosimilars used to treat uh, chemotherapy-induced anemia. So you'll know that often we give quite prolonged courses of chemotherapy, repeated courses, for diseases like ovarian cancer. And these patients can respond sometimes again and again and again to chemotherapy. And they spend a lot of their life on these drugs. And one of the main side effects of cytotoxic chemotherapy can be quite profound anemia. Now you can treat that with transfusions, but they tend to be short-lived. Transfused blood cells uh, will perhaps last in the circulation a matter of days or weeks, and you tend to have to keep repeating it. So the labelled indication in oncology for EPO-alpha is to treat symptomatic anemia. And it was a challenge because obviously these drugs are most used in nephrology. And nephrology is a good indication to test because it's much more sensitive to any difference of a peritin. Because in, on in nephrology we're just replacing a missing hormone produced by the kidney. In oncology we're not only replacing a missing hormone but we're trying to overcome resistance to that hormone, a peritin resistance in the bone marrow. And so we have to extrapolate it out. And your viewers will know that this was a drug, a peritin, that got black boxed seven or eight years ago by American regulators. They were worried that the drug in off-label indications might have a higher than expected death rate. Now we're reassured by some very important pieces of information that have come out in the last few years that we discussed at the ODAC committee. The first is meta-analyses from health technology associations such as the British NICE NICE organization with, with more than 20 randomised trials showing that for the on-label use of these drugs there is no indication of increased mortality. We know these drugs slightly increase the rate of vascular thrombotic episodes, deep vein thrombosis, about the same level that you'd see with transfusion or with drugs like tamoxifen. Um, but when you're looking to find data on things like mortality, that means quite long-term trials. So key data for that is relatively new data from our colleagues in Italy. And this is population data that took the population of North Italy around Treviso, about six million people, and tracked the long-term outcomes of patients treated in that region with either originator or biosimilar epoetins. And they looked at uh, the results of mortality, uh, of blood clotting, of, um, of blood dyscrasias, pure red cell aplasias, and they're able to show with populations that big that we had no difficulty. The other thing people will know is that to make these drugs cost effective, you need competition. And that means that a hospital might buy one drug, one version of the drug one year, and a year later switch to a different brand. And therefore, switching between brands we need to know is safe. And again, our colleagues in Italy have worked wonders in producing population-based data. They showed us that on average, after about two years, a quarter of patients in nephrology will have switched between one version of a, of a, of a erythropoiesis stimulating agent and another. And they've shown no evidence of loss of efficacy or safety problems that come with that. And remember, these can be switching between drugs as different as a poet in alpha and a poet in beta, and they're long-acting versions, uh, which are hyperglycosylated a poet in alpha or uh, mycera, the pegylated versions, the micelle versions of EPO beta. And so, in a way, proving it with those more challenging drugs, it's not surprising that the biosimilars have worked just as well. And I'm pleased to say that after all the evidence that we went through, that the vote came down very strongly in favour of approving epoetin biosimilars for use in North America. And in the end, who does this benefit? Patients. Less expensive drugs means more affordable care.